ADHD Awareness Month. Reframing ADHD. Discovering new perspectives. Well, first, let me say that, that when people uh, come in to see a clinician for ADHD, uh, sometimes they come with the expectation that probably they do have ADHD and they're right. Uh, but it's also true that sometimes they come with more in the package than just ADHD. And there are a variety of ways in which this happens. Uh, but the fact is, uh, ADHD rarely comes alone. And the studies that have been done on kids suggest that about a third of kids who have ADHD have at least one other problem with it, which might be anxiety, it might be depression, it might be oppositional defiant disorder, it might be a specific learning disability in terms of, of reading or writing or math, uh, or it could be uh, that they've uh, gotten involved in, in uh, drinking or drugging too much for older kids. Uh, and the fact is that about, 30, th about 33% of, of children, and we're talking now six to about 17, have at least one other disorder with the ADHD. And then there are about 16% uh, have a, a two, and then about 18% have three or more. And that was a study that involved over 61,000 kids. So it's really important for uh, the clinicians who are doing evaluations for kids uh, who may have ADHD, not just to look at ADHD, but also to look at the possibility that there may be something else. This kid may have a, a dyslexia and have a lot of difficulty with reading, or it may be they read pretty well, but they have a lot of difficulty organizing their thoughts to be able to present information in, in sentences and paragraphs. Uh, or they, they might be kids who just have a lot of anxiety and freak out very easily. So it's important, I think, for, for us to consider uh, getting a, a look at the overall functioning of the person and see what else might be in the package, because that can make a difference in terms of what medications will work and about what other kinds of supports are needed for somebody who's gonna get adequate treatment for ADHD. The mission of ADHD Awareness Month is to educate the public about ADHD by sharing reliable information based on scientific and peer-reviewed research. ADHD Awareness Month is brought to you by ACO, the ADHD Coaches Organization, ADA, the Attention Deficit Disorder Association, and by CHAD, Children and Adults with ADHD, in partnership with ADHD Europe.